Self-made millionaires have been studied exhaustively. They've been analyzed. They've been interviewed by the hundreds of thousands and millions. And what we know is exactly who they are and what they do and how they think and how they tick and the decisions they make and the things that they do and they don't do. And the wonderful thing is this, if you do what other successful people do, you eventually get the same result that they do. Now, some people say, well, I started off without any money and I, you know, I don't have any money now. Well, <laughs> join the crowd. Nobody's got any money. Most people are broke up into their 40s and 50s. So if you're broke today, <laughs> you're just one of the gang. The only question is, do you stay there? And and the answer is no. Now, when I started off in, in this many years ago, I uh, came from very poor beginnings. When I left school, I uh, dropped out of high school. I uh, could only get laboring jobs. I was told, by the way, if you don't get a good education, you won't do well in life. Don't get good grades, uh, you won't get a good job. Don't go to college, you won't do well, and so on. And I believed that for a long time until I found there's hundreds of thousands, millions of people who dropped out of high school who went on to become millionaires and billionaires as well. The reason I pa say that to you, by the way, is don't let it hold you back. Don't let any experience that you've ever had in your life act as a break on your potential because there's hundreds of thousands of people who've had it worse than you could ever dream of who've gone on to accomplish wonderful things. So I worked at laboring jobs for several years. I worked in construction. I worked on farms and ranches. I worked in factories putting nuts on bolts hour after hour. And one day in a state of frustration, I began asking this question. Why is it that some people are more successful than others? So I began asking other successful people, what are you doing differently from me? And they told me and I did it and I got better results. I got into sales when I could no longer get a laboring job. In sales, uh, I noticed that one of the guys in my company was making 10 times as much as anybody else. And he was selling the same product out of the same office at the same price to the same people under the same conditions. And he was making 10 times as much as anybody else. So I went and asked him, what are you doing differently from me? And he told me, and I did it. Now, what I discovered, which changed my life and which brought us here today, is I discovered the law of, of, of cause and effect. The law of cause and effect, sowing and reaping, action and reaction, are the great, is the great universal or iron law of the universe. What it says is that everything happens for a reason, is that there are no causeless effects, is that even if we don't know what is causing the effect, we trace it back. It's the basis of the scientific process of all medical research, of all marketing, of all business, is if you can define an effect that you want, you can trace it back and find somebody who at one time did not have that effect and then find out what they did and then do the same things and you eventually get the same results. We say that success is not an accident. Failure is not an accident. Success leaves tracks. So if you just follow the tracks of other successful people, no matter where you're starting from, you eventually get to the same place that they get. This was a shocker for me. And I learned later in psychology, the two most important things we need to have to be happy and healthy is a sense of control, a feeling that we are in control of our lives, that things are happening for a reason, and a sense of coherence, a feeling that things fit together. Well, when I realized the law of cause and effect explained everything, I thought, wow. So in sales, I went to the top of my sales force. I read and I learned, attended courses, and especially Especially I applied what I learned and then when I got into sales management I again read the books and took the courses and asked for advice and when I got into real estate and importation and development and manufacturing and distribution and a whole series of businesses over the years the first thing I did is I asked how does it work how do people succeed in this field and then I buried myself and immersed myself I spent hours and hours and hours studying and then I did what the most successful people did. Interesting point, uh, we say that nature is neutral. In other words, nature doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care if you're tall or short or male or female or black or white, educated or uneducated. Nature doesn't care. All that nature cares is that you do what successful people do. It's like making a recipe. Nature doesn't care if you follow a recipe. If you follow the recipe exactly, you get the dish. Nature doesn't care who's doing it. And that's the wonderful thing about our society. It's, it's basically like justice, it's blind, is nature doesn't care. In fact, there are a lot of people who are not as smart and not as talented as you who are doing vastly better than you, not because they're better, but because they're just following proven success methods. There's nothing that will make you matter than to see somebody who's dumber than you, who's making more money than you. So what we do is we use proven success methods. We just find out what they are and we do them over and over again.